How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. That's right, I'm releasing another video. But today we're going to be predicting the entire card of the KSI Logan Paul fight event for August 25th. So, there are seven fights in total, and I'm going to be going through each one of them and giving my prediction and my opinion on the fights. So, the first fight that was announced, Rossi HD versus Momo FIFA. Honestly, this is one of those fights where it's not really anything I can care about. I think that they're both very, very thin, they're both very, very lightweight. I don't think any of them have the knockout power necessary to win the fight that way. I think if they do win, I'm going to give it to Rossi. This is one of those fights where it's just a bit too hard to predict because you haven't really seen anything about them. I'm going to give it to Rossi and hopefully it's a good fight. Right, fight number two, JMX versus Coach Richard. An Olympian, a 400 meter runner. Honestly, this is going to be a great fight, but who do I give this fight to? See, JMX has the boxing experience and the training, but Coach Richard obviously has the endurance and the stamina and everything else. I reckon this could go to a decision, and I feel like we haven't really seen enough of it. I haven't seen enough of it to see Coach Richard winning. I think if it goes the distance, then it will be Coach Richard, but I think if it's going to be a knockout, I reckon JMX will get the knockout. Uh, I'm going to do this one first, because then I can do the last four, which are probably the best fights. So, we have Scarce versus the Raka Raka guy. And recently, Scarce has been, you can see his face, like, his face looks a lot slimmer, his jawline looks a lot better, but you haven't really seen that much boxing footage for him, you haven't seen anything. Raka Raka was already a slim individual, so I'm, I'm assuming it was a lot easier for him to get into the shape necessary, if he has. And I'm gonna, I am gonna give it to Raka Raka. I, th I reckon Scarce will need more time to get into the shape and get more of the skills and be able to get more agile and all that good stuff. But those, those are the quick predictions for the three fights that I think are just going to be a bit average, a bit standard. But the fights that I'm looking forward to, Sensei versus Overflow. They're both experts in MMA, highly trained, highly skilled fighters. Sensei, he's obviously fought professional MMA fights and he has won fights, so he does have advantage. I couldn't find anything on overflow fighting, but I think, I think if they do fight from both their fighting knowledge and their expertise, I reckon it will go the distance. And I reckon Sensei will take it on a unanimous decision, but that one is a really hard one to call. I feel like they, they could both win because they're both highly skilled in their element, but I feel like Sensei will take it on a decision, it will go the distance. Next, Gib versus Jay. The footage from Jay is not great, he may have power, but if he has power, like that is not gonna be too great if he doesn't have everything else. The guy who he put in hospital for two weeks with a broken rib, He's obviously not going to be contending in a fight like Gib would be. I reckon Gib will win it. I reckon Gib has that more skill. He has more expertise. He has that better training from Vidal. And it's just going to come down to whether Jay is good enough or not. But this one I'm going to give to Gib. Main event time. So, our first main event. Comedy Shorts Gamer or Deji versus Jake Paul. Footage of Jake Paul recently broken down on my channel. Go check that video out. Very misleading. He doesn't... He looks like he's training well, but the boxing is not great. Deji massively improved. Training looks great. Boxing looks great. I reckon Deji will take it. Deji is improving his skill. And I don't know whether Jake will be able to handle that because it will be more than what he's expecting. But I think Jake Paul's footage and all that stuff is making him look stronger and better than he actually is. I think it won't go the distance. I reckon Deji will get a knockout. He will be the surprise win of the night. And it is time for the main 
event. The thing we all are watching for, KSI versus Logan Paul. KSI, he's got the experience. He's won the fight versus Joe Weller. He knows what he's doing. He's got the training. He's got the strength. He's got the skill required. Logan Paul, wrestling background. He may have basic skill. His training obviously is good. He's He is a stacked guy and I'm not gonna undermine him. The boxing, he doesn't look as great as JJ does look. He has the footwork. He slap punches a lot. KSI will capitalize on his mistakes from not having the same level of skill and expertise as KSI has. Especially with that experience from that previous fight. I think KSI will win it. And I think he will retain the YouTube champion. But they do have a rematch in LA. So when that time comes, we'll be able to do another prediction and make another video for it. So the predictions. Rossi, JMX knockout or Coach Richard go the distance. Sensei go the distance. Raka Raka knockout. Gib knockout. Deji knockout. KSI knockout. They are my predictions on the fights and I'm really looking forward to watching it. I, I do hope I get my predictions correct or some of them. I will make sure that I do see the fight and I will I will have a look, I will react to it, I will break down the fight, I will give my opinions and thoughts and I, I will keep uploading content based on this and other related stuff and other personal boxing and life stuff. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss a video. My name is Brooke, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.